Hi, it's me, Wendy Hackney Basden again, and I'm here today because I want to show you a few ideas that I have for ways that you can spice up a photograph. Um, I'm just going to go through some of these that I've got. Here I've taken a template and laid it down and just traced out some of the swirl and cut it away with an X-Acto knife. Gives the picture just a little bit of depth. Uh, here I've used my punches and you can see I punch one size of the star and then when that falls out I take what falls out and carefully place it back inside of my punch and punch it one size smaller and then when you put it in back in there it has this little you know frame sort of that happens here I have a photograph and I've just laid a template down and you know used it to make a design on the edge of the photograph which just gives it a little depth. Same thing here I used the punch. You can get these punches in all sorts of, here's a star one, you can get them in all sorts of um, shapes and just punch right on the actual photograph and then mat it and it'll show through. Same thing here, just used a snowflake punch. This one, I used my oval, and um, you do this right on your, glue these back on your page, and uh, I used an oval punch and punched out the picture, and then put it back in a smaller punch and punched out the smaller size, and then put pop dots underneath, and that gives it a little raised feeling. And then this one, I used a small punch and punched out the side of the picture and put it back. It's just cute little ways that you can um, add some dimension to your photographs when you put them on your pages. This one, same thing. This one is a landscape photograph that would never really end up on a page. It's me going into Dallas my first time. And, you know, we all do that and take pictures of skylines, but those pictures never actually make it into our scrapbooks because they're too boring. So I just kind of cut it into this shape of a, you know, building on the top or a city skyline on the top. And um, it just gives you a little something extra so that you can use these pictures that you wouldn't otherwise use. This one I used my ruler. I have here a Tim Holtz ruler, and I am a Tim Holtz fan. I love all of his stuff, with the exception of this ruler. Uh, I have all of his ink. I swear by his staple. I, I love this stapler. Um, but I'm a little disappointed in this ruler in that mine, it's Tim Holtz ideology, and mine has some sort of flaw going on here from four to nothing on this end the lines are completely wavy. They're, they wiggle. I can I can do that on my own. I don't need a roller. <laughs> uh, I love the stiffness of it, and I love the marks. I wish that it was longer because when I lay it on my page, it doesn't extend any over the edge of a 12 by 12 page, and that drives me crazy. This is an EK Success ruler, and I love everything about it. I wish that it was the thickness that this one is. Um, this this EK Success one is meant so that you could, you know, measure around the circumference of something. So that's really handy. I love this one. Um, but these little marks are fantastic for doing photographs like this. You, you just pick a mark and lay it on your picture and, you know, make the mark all the way around at the same point on your photograph and then cut that away and you're gonna you know that's gonna let you cut off a quarter inch and so when you put it back you end up with this little quarter inch frame on your mat so you do this with an exacto knife so that you don't you know have a cut in mark from your scissors a uh, really cute way to jazz up a photograph this one I'm going to put this template up on my blog so that you can get on there and download it for free. It's uh, wendybazden.blogspot.com and that's uh, going to be available later today. What it does is just 
there's your regular photograph on your page and you just kind of pull it and you have a hidden picture behind and just like on it goes right back where it's supposed to so um, if you'd like to have that I'm gonna put that little template up so what it what it'll do is it'll just be a word document you can pop off onto your computer print it out cut it with your scissors and then lay it over top of any photograph and it will let you do this which I think is adorable um, I'm going to write here so that you know what the blog is. It's Wendy, W-E-N-D-Y, B-A-I-S-D-E-N dot blog spot dot com. And if you'd like to go there, um, that'll be available to you. And there's lots of other ideas, tips and techniques. And um, feel free to just go and look around and send me a message and let me know what you think.